He was sure of it. Well, they had a, they had a Should have seen x ray. Yeah. Hole, holes in the bones. And and they probably had it before. Have you had gout before in the past? I've had it in your, Where is it mostly? Usually in your toes or in your head? No, no, it's only in my toes anymore. And what did you take in the past for gout? Were you ever put on medication? Never, never, never was put on medication. Nothing. I'm not a doctor person. Sorry to say. That's okay. <laughs> but uh, I've never been. Okay, so when someone who has lots of gout, um, one we look at if there's a medication causing it, and there's nothing really in his medication list that can cause him to have an increased uric acid, which is what builds up in gout. We do give medications to help decrease the gout in your body so you don't have these flare-ups. Mm -hmm. um, gout can cause bone destruction, etc. over long term. Um, it's a strong sort of product that your body is supposed to excrete or get out of your body, but you obviously have too is much it, of it. Is it just your gas that causes it? Most of the time it's your gas that build up. Can I interrupt for a second? Mm -hmm. He did. He went to the hospital because his hand was hurt and everything. Mm -hmm. and well, they gave him some medicine for the gout. So they gave you pregnisone and they gave you yeah. Keflex. The Keflex yeah. was to fight an infection if you had one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the pregnisone is something that we do give for gout, but it's nothing that you should be, it shouldn't be something that's on chronically. Yeah. It's something that you Steroid. take for acute flare-ups. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what probably is helping you get that down, but it's gonna rebuild it's again. Terrible today. It's terrible today? Yeah. Um, it can rebuild again, so obviously we have to figure out how we're gonna maintain the gout. Before we do any of that, I need to check what your uric acid level is. I don't have it, I don't have a blood test. Um, your body, we want to keep it under six as a number for anyone if they have a history of gout. Well, I looked on the internet and I saw all of these foods that cause it. Correct. And something that's good for it is cherries. Correct. So cherries is one of the fruits that doesn't increase uric acid. There are other fruits out there. Um, do you drink alcohol? No. Beer, red meat. Um, red meat. Red meat can cause increased gout. Um, there's a whole list of fruits and vegetables that can cause it as well. Um, the goal is for you to avoid it. Um, or even if we put you in a medication and you eat some of it, um, it should help excrete the, the uric acid for you to pee it, it out. Are, are cherry su supplements of, of mm, It doesn't decrease gout. It's not mm. something that will help you bring the gout down. Oh, it just won't it, build it, it, just it up. Won't oh, build okay. it up. All right. Cause it, it's not rich. read different acid. things on the yeah, internet. Yeah, no. Like, um, medications is what would help. They said there was nothing proven that cherries Correct. Um, help. It just... I'm going to give you a list of, so you kind of do Google increase uh, foods that are rich in uric acid. It'll give you a whole list of um, foods that you want to avoid. Um, but our biggest thing is to control the gout part of it, um, the uric acid, if I can excrete it. But if you have an acute flare-up, um, so what was the reason you can't take ibuprofen, is what I heard. What's the reason? Advil, yeah, why can't you take ibuprofen? He's on a blood thinner for He's on a little bit of a blood thinner. He's on Plavix, right? Uh, he's on, yeah, 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 he's on several things related to stroke. Yeah. I don't know what, the, one of them. They said no ibuprofen, so. Yeah, one of them is uh, Lipitor, another, but he's on a blood thinner, too. I don't know. My wife's the most. She knows oh, that. She starts reeling off drugs. Topic. I said, so speak English. Why do they have to make them so complicated? Kid? You know what I mean? Why, well, why, I why are the names so complicated? I don't know. I always ask them. That, so I can't find them. Put your hands up. For it. Well, you you, you got to learn them. <laughs> yeah, Ow! Okay, I'm sorry. All this hurts. These two fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were they red and swollen before you went to the ER? Were they worse? Yeah. Swollen, yeah. They were, yeah, they were worse. I thought it was broken. And the hand surgeon, did they tell you to come back at all or nothing? No. He just said it was gout. Yeah, we gotta get, it, gotta get the meds. I gave you a red pill. Yeah. I take it four times a day. Antibiotics and then prednisone. Oh. The ER gave you that, right? Not the yeah, hand surgeon. Right. The ER did. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't the doctor. Did emergency room when he went. They gave you those pills. Not the hand surgeon. Just a minute. No, the, 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 a doctor gave it to him. Yeah. Not, yeah. not the hand doctor. In the emergency room. Yeah. Okay, but not the doctor you saw yesterday? No. Okay. No. He gave you nothing or she gave you nothing? No, he was... No. Correct. Okay. Um, how long did you take the pregnancy for? Did you finish it? Yeah, we'll be done today. It's Tuesday. five days? Tuesday was the last day. Okay. And then do you feel like it's getting better? No. No? Not at all. Okay. How's your... Any pain in your toes? No. Nothing, just her hand. This this leg is uh, had some misuse. On your feet? Ow. Did you 
to see the podiatrist ever. No. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah, you should really see the podiatrist. I all that is fungal. Yeah, all daughter, that is a fungal infection. Doctor Kretz was a podiatrist. Yeah, uh, how about cancer. a physical therapist for his hand? The gout no, would get right better with physical body. therapy. Yeah. No, we got to take the uric acid out of his body with yeah. medications. Um, but you need to see a podiatrist, especially his nails, all that fungus infection. Is there a podiatrist in this building? Um, not in this building. At Forbes, at the POV1 building, I think Dr. Seltrick is there. I'll give you a referral for yeah. that. Maybe we'll see him. We, we, my daughter married son of a podiatrist. Oh, okay. He's dead, Lord Murphy. So that fungal infection can do damage to your... See? You can get sick from it. Can you really? Yeah, and it's actually spreading. Those 